beer scene is absolutely thriving here in Australia. It's a great time to be involved. Experienced craft beer drinkers are really you know, pushing the boundaries with drinking IPAs, Imperial Stouts, all things like that, even venturing into the sour world. But once they've had those beers, they can't keep drinking them. They want to have something that's a lot more approachable, more sessionable, more quaffable. That's what we're finding. People are moving, moving back to clean, crisp, refreshing lager. We actually launched our lager about six years ago, and we actually think it's taken about that amount of time for people to come around to lager. Sort of perceptions and uh, flavors are changing. The people that mainly appreciated lager, I'd say, is definitely brewers. We know how good it is and how hard it is to make a good lager. People like chefs, sommeliers, uh, mixologists, all these sorts of people are, have always loved lager, and in fact, they've actually always loved ours. It's actually very difficult to brew a good lager. You're actually just trying to do a very delicate balance between the small amount of hop flavour, aroma, bitterness, alcohol. Everything's delicate. The nuances are very different in comparison to brewing an IPA, which is big, bold and heavily dry hopped. For us, now's the time to refresh our lager. We've done three things. We've put it into brown bottles, we've kept it unfiltered like it is on tap, and we've changed the name to Green Coast. One of the first things we've done was actually put the beer into brown bottles. Green bottles were traditionally the way European style lagers were actually served in Australia, but we believe it's better for the beer quality. Beer can become light struck in a green or a clear bottle, and that can affect the flavour. Now Green Coast will be unfiltered in bottle, which is the same as it's always been in our kegs. The reason we're keeping the beer unfiltered is because it gives the beer more flavour and more aroma. Filtration and pasteurisation sort of remove and soften the aromas and flavours of beer, and we want a very crisp, clean beer, and we believe the best way to do that is to leave it unfiltered. And this is sort of paying homage to European, German-style colour beer, which is also left unfiltered. We've changed the name to Green Coast because, like all of our core beers, it reflects the area in which we live. The Northern Rivers is a really special part of the world. Not only does it have incredible, beautiful, untouched beaches, but it also has this subtropical, lush hinterland and an incredible community that, for us, makes it a really amazing place to live. Green Coast reflects the green hills that roll down to the Pacific Ocean. So we've done three things. We're putting it in a brown bottle, we're changing the name, and we're leaving it unfiltered just like it is on tap. <laughs>